Hello, my name is Ian Leonard. I'm the Head of Performing Arts at Emmanuel College and welcome to the Year 7 Music Program video. So what happens in a Year 7 music class? Well, once you're allocated an instrument, one of the classes, and you'll have two classes per week in Year 7 music, one of the classes will uh, involve you working with the specialist teachers. Flutes all work together, clarinets all work together, saxophones together, percussion and so on. Working at your instrument, getting better at your instrument. To start with, that might just involve putting it together and creating a sound, but as the year progresses, you'll get better and better, have more knowledge of the instrument, be able to play, some, um, some fairly straightforward music to begin with, but hopefully a little bit more challenging as the year goes on. Um, and then we'll be able to put that together with the rest of the class. All the areas come together, all the instrument areas come together, and we can perform in a class band setting. So it's a great way to fast track our learning. It kind of pushes us along. It's exciting. We get to perform earlier than if we were just learning on our own. And, uh, and hopefully next year, in 2021, we'll be able to bring along some parents and friends and, and so forth and be able to actually uh, watch you in concert. As well as that, uh, in our other lesson that we have during the week where we don't have the specialist teachers with us, uh, we'll be able to work at uh, building our music knowledge, our listening skills and, and an appreciation of other music styles. So now it's time to watch the rest of the video with our specialist teachers demonstrating the instruments that you can choose for 2021. Uh, watch very closely, try and make uh, a decision based on the instrument that you think will work for you the best, whether that might involve uh, the size of the instrument too. So if you've got a long way to come to school, or if you have to walk to school or a long uh, bus journey, then perhaps uh, a smaller instrument might be a better idea. But have a look, ultimately we want you to really just choose something that you like and, uh, and that you can work out uh, throughout the year. And we'll see you in 2021. Hi everyone, my name is Mrs Tate, I'm from Manual College and I'm here to introduce the flute which I teach. Um, as you can see the flute is quite a long instrument but never fear, it actually packs down to quite a compact little case, and this is the case you'll get. Um, and it breaks down into three, three pieces, headpiece, body, and end piece. So flute's a little bit different to other instruments to blow and get a sound. You actually blow across the instrument, and I'll just give you a quick demo or you can put your hand over the end like that so then I'll put it together and I'll just play a couple of things to give you a sound so the lowest note on the flute is actually in the same note as middle C on the piano but it sli sounds slightly different in tone so you can go quite high again which I won't do um, play lots of different styles on the flute as well. Something I just made up on the spot. So um, yeah, that's the flute. So hopefully I'll see some of you next year and hopefully you'll choose this instrument. Thanks. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Dimke and I teach um, two of the instruments in the Year 7 program at Emmanuel College. This is an alto saxophone and um, there are four saxophones in the, in the saxophone family but we teach two of them here in the Year 7 program and this is the smallest of the two. Um, we make the sound by blowing through this mouthpiece and it has a uh, just a small piece of cane on there called a reed and that vibrates between the mouthpiece to make the sound. So I'll just show you the, it's got a reasonable sized case, but it's not, it's not too bad. It's reasonably, um, reasonably light to carry to and from school. And I'll just play you a little snippet of a song you might know. <laughs> That 
that was a pink panther all right so the clarinet this is a clarinet and we make the sound the same way as the saxophone it's obviously a different shaped instrument um, but we still have a reed and blow through this in a similar way and the size of the case for this one is about that size this is not the actual uh, Emmanuel size but that's that's pretty close and it makes a slightly different sound it's a little bit lower um, but I'll just play you a little song so you can hear <laughs> There we go. So that's the alto saxophone and the clarinet. Hello, my name is Mr. Hewson. I teach the tenor saxophone and the electric bass. Uh, the tenor saxophone is uh, a woodwind instrument. We have a reed that we and a mouthpiece that we that we blow to make the sound. Um, it's the larger of the two that we we have here at Emmanuel for Year Sevens. So it's got a deeper sound, um, and it uh, it can be played. Uh, you can get, get some really nice kind of uh, tunes out of it because uh, it's nice, it's got a nice full sound. Um, so. <laughs> So it's, it's, it's got a nice woody sound, can be kind of breathy as well. One of the things with the tenor sax is that the case is reasonably big and heavy, so if you have to walk home or catch a bus, uh, it can pose issues. But it's, uh, it's a nice, fun instrument to play. Um, the other instrument I teach is the electric bass, and it looks just like an electric guitar, except it's only got four strings. And uh, it... It makes it, uh, it, it's the bottom end of the band, so it makes a nice deep sound. Uh, locks in with the drums, so it sets up the whole foundation for the band. Uh, it's quite difficult to play, it takes a bit of strength to press down, although the better you get at it, the easier it gets. Um, and it's very important that you play very well in time, like, like the drummer. Um, but yeah, it makes a big deep sound. Okay, so it sits right at the bottom of the band and, and uh, doesn't tend to play the melody or the, the singing part very often. It tends to be the, the rhythm part at the bottom. So that's, that's the electric bass. Okay, so, um, so they're the two instruments I teach. We only have one electric bass in each band, generally. Um, yeah, so uh, if you're going to pick the bass, make sure you're ready to do some practice. Hello, I'm Mr. Metal and I am the percussion teacher for Year 7 Music. Um, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about how uh, percussion works. Um, most of you probably think it's just going to be drums. Um, it is a big part of what we do, but it is only one part of uh, a series of different instruments that we learn here in, uh, in Year 7 Music. So the drums, as you know, it sounds a little bit like this. Lots of fun to play but is a pretty important thing to, uh, as far as practicing the instrument. Um, the drums hold pretty much everything together as far as the tempo, which is the speed of the song. So practicing this instrument is really, really important. We've also got these three instruments in the front as well. We have a marimba. And a glockenspiel. Now, learning these instruments is almost like learning two instruments at once. You're learning some percussion, but you're also learning notes as well. It's actually got a lot of uh, similarities to a piano. So if anyone already knows how to play piano, you'll probably fall right in line with uh, the way that this instrument plays. And over here, these big boys are called the timpanis. These are lots of fun to play. Nice, big, loud, booming notes. So every student, regardless of uh, the instrument they play in percussion, will get a percussion pack like this. Uh, inside this you will get a number of different things. You'll get some sticks, uh, some brushes, some mallets for the timpani and some drumsticks as well, as well as a practice pad. Very easy to bring to school. Um, that is pretty much it. So hopefully I get to see you guys for Year 7 Percussion next year. Hello, my name is Mrs Finnegan and I teach the brass instruments at Emmanuel College in the Year 7 program. We've got four that we teach in Year 7. We have the trumpet, the trombone, the euphonium and the tuba and I'll go through each of those with you. When we produce a sound on a brass instrument, 
It's a mouthpiece that looks a bit like this. The smaller the mouthpiece, the higher sound you'll get out and it's produced by buzzing. So this mouthpiece belongs to the trumpet, the smallest of our brass instruments. There's our trumpet there. It comes in a, a reasonable sized case, nice and easy to carry to school, fits on the bus, um, not too heavy to carry if you're walking. The next size up instrument we have is the trombone. The trombone uses a slightly larger mouthpiece. If we compare it to the trumpet mouthpiece, it is a bit bigger, which means our sound's going to be deeper. Oh. Once we pop that into the instrument, uh, it will create a nicer sound, which I'll demonstrate later. So here's our trombone. The trombone's uh, one, a fun instrument to play. We use a slide so the sounds go up and down using the slide. Uh, the case that we have to carry to school is kind of an awkward shape but it comes with a shoulder strap so it's not too bad if you have to walk to school. Fits nicely on the bus under your chair as well. So that's the trombone case. The euphonium uses the same size mouthpiece as a trombone except it's a different shaped instrument and we use valve, what we call valves to change the sounds. So the, the euphonium is a bit heavier to carry, um, but we do sit down when we're playing them. The case for the euphonium is a bit bigger, of course. You can carry it sideways like this or up like this. We also have trolleys available. We can pop them on so you can drag them behind you when you're walking. Um, but again, it is quite a larger case. And the biggest instrument that we play in year seven is the tuba. The tuba uses this very large mouthpiece. So our sound is larger, it's going to be deeper. <laughs> Sounds a bit funny. So this is our tuba over here. It's a larger version of the euphonium and makes a very deep sound. So if you're quite a small person, very short, you may have trouble playing the, the tuba. Doesn't mean that you can't though, if you want to have a go, but it is quite heavy. The case it comes in is very large. However, it does have wheels. So if you need to walk anywhere, you can wheel your case behind you and it's actually not too heavy with the wheels. Okay, so we're going to do a few demonstrations of our brass instruments so you can hear the sound of each one. Our smallest instrument in the brass family being the trumpet using valves. It's quite high. It can go a lot higher and a lot lower than that. Um, our next size instrument up, we have the euphonium. And I've got Quaid here to demonstrate that one for you. So quite a large sound, but also it can go quite deep too. Our next one is the trombone. As I mentioned before, the trombone uses a slide and I will teach you where all our notes are rather than using the three valves on the other instruments. And the trombone's lots of fun to do slidey notes. <laughs> That's a good one, all the year sevens like doing that. And our largest of the brass family is the tuba, and we have Libby here to demonstrate the deep sound of the tuba. Thank you, Libby and Quaid. <laughs>